of them. Uh, it's a quiet town. Uh, very quiet. And um, <clears throat> many available rooms. Uh, I'm just passing through. Oh. Uh, mind if I ask a question, please? This town does have a sheriff, doesn't it? Well, you might call him that. Why? Well, there are three uh, vigilantes out there looking at me like they'd run out of necks for their noose. It's that kind of town. Well, if it's that kind of town, somebody ought to do something about it. Well, there aren't many somebodies around here anymore. The town's closed down. We had a silver mine that petered out about a year ago, and most people left. The only people around here now are some... some ignorant range bums. Well, there's one scholar in your village limits. At least he can write. And his note says that he's registered here at your hotel. W. Hardy is his name. Oh, yes, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> he's our only guest at the moment. Room six. There you go. What's he look like? Oh, I don't know. Came in here late last night with his hat down and his collar up. But he paid his room rent in advance, so I didn't ask any questions. Well, believe me. Down the hall to your right. Thank you. William Colton. You W. Hardy? You are, I got your note. There it is. You recognize me, Captain? Drake, sir. Sergeant Harry Drake's son? Yes, sir. I carried ammunition in B Company. It's a good officer who remembers his men, especially the ones who did most of their charging to the rear. I was one of those, if you'll recall, sir. Well, that's a reasonable description of yourself. Until on a given afternoon, I brought your personal effects back to your father. You got them off the body of another boy. He was mutilated beyond recognition, so I put them there and then departed the field of honor. How ingenious can you be? What about that poor devil's relatives? They'll spend a lifetime of never really knowing, thanks to you. I'm not denying I was a coward. You hear me out? Well, if you can cover it in 30 seconds. You saw those men out there, Captain. That one in front of the sheriff's office is Charlie Libet. They're thieves, Captain. I was one of them. But I left after some business we had. Seems that Charlie doesn't appreciate deserters from his cause either. He's got his own articles of war. So they've got the town bottled up. They're waiting for me. The reason I wrote you is I want to go back to Fort Thomas. I want to turn myself in. Well, you got two legs and a sense of direction. What's stopping you? They are. I want you to help me get back to Fort Thomas so I can give myself up. Uh, just what do you expect to get at Fort Thomas, huh? A decoration? Here, you've got three men waiting to gun you down. At Fort Thomas, there's a firing squad of 13 men. I know that. Captain, I want to redeem myself. Now, I've thought about this for a long time. When I saw you yesterday in Lutherville, I knew it was now or never. When I couldn't get to you, I wrote you the note. Call it a request for a military escort. Well, you can call it that if you like, but the war is over and I'm no longer your commanding officer. In fact, there's nothing military left about me except some memory. So if you want to go to Fort Thomas, you get there yourself. Huh? War's never over for a deserter, Captain. There's no peace in that kind of living. All I want now is peace and honor. If that means dying like a soldier, 
That's what I want to give my father. You mean your father is at Fort Thomas? Yes, sir. Harry Drake was the best sergeant I ever had. Yes, sir. Well, if it's four times you want, I'll get the sheriff. I'll need more than the sheriff. I'm facing three guns. No, I plan to ride along with you. I'm headed in that direction anyway. Captain, I'm indebted. I'll get the sheriff. Oh, you're all right. Why, shouldn't I be? Well, it's just that he seems so peculiar, that's all. Mr. Harvey. My name is Cora. Delighted. I wanted you to know my name. You're leaving. Well, not just yet. Well, when you do leave, at least you'll take my name away from here. <laughs> my name. Seems that's the only part of me that can shake itself loose from this town. You know, it's a funny thing. There's only been two people that I've met face to face so far in this town. They both have the same mission in life. To leave. Sorry I bothered you. Well, you didn't bother me, Cora. Sheriff, he's gone up to the county seat with a man who's going on trial. He'll be back in a week. I'm just a cleaner up fellow around here. Uh, you think you can clean all this up in a week? Oh, will you have a slug? No, thanks. Got a name? Grant. I'm checking on reenlistments. Funny man. Nothing but laughs. What do you do besides tell jokes? I travel. What do you do? Besides ask questions. Where's your friend Drake? That's a good question. You just tell me where he hid it. I don't know what you're talking about. Hid what? Where? Me and the boys were having a good time Saturday night. When we sobered up, Drake was gone, so was a box full of money, which we happened to come by. Oh, so that's what you're looking for, our money. That interests you? Money interests everybody. It figures you know where it is. I don't. Last chance, mister. Did you ever hear the one about the drummer who walks into this farm? Oh! I heard it before.
be cold. Uh, Ethan. Uh, Ethan, you're going to be all right. Oh, thanks. I'm uh, much obliged to see you. In case you've forgotten already. No, I haven't forgotten, Cora. Oh. Well, at least the room service is good here, anyway. You can't go out there without a gun. Uh, they're very thorough, aren't they? Don't go that way. You better use the side stairs. Where's the sheriff? He's out of town. We'll never make it without him. Now, you settle down. We'll need each other if we're gonna get out of this alive. You wanna play soldier again? All right, start now. Your objective is Fort Thomas. The battle plan is that street out there. The only way to get to Fort Thomas. Now, come on, follow me. you like. I suppose I should apologize. For what? For this room. I used to try to make something of it, but I've given up pretending. There is no gentility in this room, in this hotel, in this entire town. Well, why don't you leave then? Ha! If only I could. I don't see any chain in your ankle. Well, it takes something to cut away a place you're used to. <laughs> Lady, if I hated this town as much as you do, I'd hobble out of here, chain and all. Someday, someday I will. You have the courage, I know, but uh, well, maybe this might help a little, huh? Oh, no, I couldn't. Listen, Lady, I'm obliged to you, huh? Well, I'm obliged to you now for your confidence. Wait. I'll, I'll check and be back.
I don't care what you think. I have to get out of here. Please, Mr. Cole. Forgive me. Well, thanks to you, lady, I may not be alive long enough to accommodate you. Well, everything. Everybody's got the right to be free. Oh, yeah, what about that bird of yours, huh? Why don't you free it? Even him. Every one of God's creatures. So there's always a price to pay. Somebody pay. This bird, that's all I've got. My only companion. But I have to make the sacrifice. his freedom, why doesn't he take it? Sometimes, lady, it's just too late. Cover the chute. Ferguson, up on the roof. Now, you're a big man when it comes to making a retreat, aren't you? I had to get out of there, Captain. I gotta stay alive long enough to get to Fort Thomas. Figure it's safer here, huh? You and that money. Now, for a man who's looking for redemption, you've sure got an expensive appetite. There's no other way out of here. It's a story of your life, isn't it? Not this time. Get rid of that thing and shoot! Leave it alone! I brought it this far. I'm not letting go of it. I know you think I'm mad, Captain. But if I'm gonna die, it's gonna be at Fort Thomas. In uniform. I owe that to my father. Looks like I finally got my money back. Give it to him, Drake. No! Can money be that important?
I'll get you there, Private Drake. I'll get you there. Lieutenant Dover, sir, open the gates. Yes? I'd like to see Sergeant Drake. Get Sergeant Drake. I brought home the body of a soldier. Yes, sir. 